Welcome to Rakudu's tournament. We're finally back with the third CPU CAC tournament, but also the first modded CAC tournament. That's right, every single character that will be participating in today's tournament will have modded super attacks, ultimate attacks, transformations, and even move sets. Hey, I'm so hyped for today's tournament. Can we get this video to 5,000 likes for the first modded tournament? And hey, if we reach the goal, Maybe we will see the second modded CAC tournament a lot sooner. Of course, if you guys do want to participate in just normal CAC tournaments or modded tournaments, then be sure to follow me over on Twitter because that's where I do announce like when the next tournament will be placed. So now let's meet our eight warriors. Here we go! Ah! We now have all eight fighters for today's tournament and again if you guys didn't make it in uh, just be sure to follow me over on Twitter and then stay tuned for the announcement when I do announce the next tournament. So today's tournament is being held at the tournament of power uh, just because all the fighters are being consumed with mods you know enhancing their limit capabilities surpassing their limits hence being at the tournament of power. So for the first fight we do have Throne versus Jermaine for the second battle we do have Surly versus Daikin. And for the third fight, Levite versus Robin. And for the fourth fight, Sora versus Tato. And we'll see who comes out on top with each fight. Before we start the first fight, I will be going over their preset just for you guys know what they are going in with. And this is an interesting matchup just because they're both swordmen builds. I like to think of it like they're bo both from different sword clans and they're just rivaling each other right now. <laughs> and they both actually have their own unique swordman moveset as well. So I just can't wait to see this uh, fight going on. So as for Throne, he is going in with Bloody Slash, Cross Splitter, Burning Slash, and Brave Sword Slash for the ultimate Brave Sword Attack and Ripper Rush for the evasive Keyblade Swept and his transformation potential unleashed. Now Throne over here, he does have the ability to make Keyblades with his hands. So not only that he has his sword attacks, but he also has like Keyblade sword attacks, which is kind of cool. And Jermaine over here, he is going in with Savage Strike, Royal Rush, Counter Blade, and Unleashed Charge for his ultimates, Final Kamehameha and Vanishing Slash for his evasive Wrathful Explosion and his transformation, Super Saiyan God. He does have God Key behind him though. So let the first fight commence. Let's see which swordman comes out on top. Again, they're both from different clans. Not really. I'm just throwing some backstory in there just to make it a little bit more interesting. So let's see what you guys got. Yo, this is so exciting. I don't think I've ever seen a, you know, swordman clash duel before. Oh, what? Okay, so we do have some bit of Gogeta there from Jermaine right there. Oh, and already with the, the sword clash. All right, let's see some modded super attacks and ultimates. I want you guys to transform early on to make this even more interesting. Yo! Oh, that's his evasive. All right, Keyblade Swept. So that's some uh, some Keyblade attacks from Throne. Again, oh, Jermaine! All right, that's kind of cool. He's <laughs> taking the, the form of guys. Throne, are you gonna transform? No, he's just gonna grab instead. All right, yo, Throne's not even scared though. I kind of like it. Yo, wait, is Jermaine's health regenerating? I thought I saw some regeneration things right there. Maybe I'm just tripping. Oh, it is regenerating, whoa. Okay, what is that? Is that part of it? Oh, okay, Throne's finally transformed. Finally, potential unleashed. <laughs> oh, Jermaine, chill with the sauce. Yo, the Purple Block game. Yeah, I love Jermaine's combo shing right there, and then he he canceled it into the Savage Strike. 
Yo, he's just body and throne though. What's the final? Oh, the full fusion! Oh, throne took the advantage to break his stamina. What is he doing? Okay, sword bra braver attack. Woohoo! The damage! Oh, he's doing it again! Oh! <laughs> Yo, what are you gonna do, throne? I mean, Jermaine, you're gonna make this comeback or what? Okay. Oh, again! Oh, throne! He said Throne said that well, that combo won't work twice. Oh! The ball feels in! <laughs> yeah, I love the reads by Throne there, not gonna lie. He dodged that the same combo string with the Savage Strike. He said, nah, but yo, I love the finish right there. They both ended it with an ultimate attack. Jermaine overthrowing Throne, taking his rightful throne in his next spot right there on the leaderboard. So for the next match, we do have Surly versus Daikin. So as for Surly, his preset, he is going in with Revenge Final Flash, Savage Strike, Variant Dive, Surging Spirits, Ultimate Masenko, and Enraged Crash for his Evasive Super Explosive Wave and Transformation Super Saiyan 4. He does have his very own unique moveset as well, which I can't wait to see. And as for Daikin over here, he's going in with Celestial Whirlwind, Tyrant Lancer, Tenrai, Instant Charge for his Ultimate's Heavenly Mark, which is a very powerful ultimate attack, and Gamma Burst Flash. Uh, Keyblade swept for his evasive and for his transformation he is going in with Super Saiyan 1 through Super Saiyan 8. Hey, so we have Super Saiyan 4 versus Super Saiyan 1 through 8. Comment down below on who do you guys think is going to take the whole tournament. I did uh, forget to mention that at the start of the video but I do like uh, Celery's outfit right here. It's like an all black robe. It's funny because Daikin also has wearing like a, he's wearing Zeno Goku's robe actually. Alright, hey, start off with the clash. I like when the matches start off with clashes. It's also funny how when they both fight towards each other and then just pause and then clash. <laughs> hey, okay, Sylvie so powering up over there. That was a pretty unique combo string. Yo, Daikin can't even touch him. Yo, what is going on? <laughs> Sylvie, too smooth with the robe. Again with the clash. Alright, Daikin, do some damage out here. It's actually pretty easy. Oh, what transformation is this? Oh, that's a, that's a Super Saiyan 4 transformation. That's actually a very unique form of a Super Saiyan 4 because uh, uh, I think it's just glitched. <laughs> but knowing me, I'm coming up with a backstory. I'm taking this as a like a suppressed version of Super Saiyan 4. That's kind of what it looks like. Hey, yo, can I get a cool combo into Super Saiyan? All right. Okay, uh, Celery with a variant drive. Yo, Heavenly March. Oh, it's over. Oh, that did massive damage. Yup, Daikin definitely took the W. <laughs> Daikin definitely took the W. Yo, Celery, can you do this comeback though? Super Saiyan 4, can you? Do some ultimates, spam some ultimates. Oh, oh, Super Saiyan 2. Yo, he's staying in his uh, Super Saiyan forms. Not even going to Super Saiyan 8. Oh! Oh, he can't break his guard though. What the heck? Oh, he did his Super Masengo, but horribly missed. A failed attempt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yo, Celebi is coming back quick. Oh, no! No! Oh! <laughs> With the Super Masenko finish, the ultimate attack. Yo, Daikin just held that L. I thought he was going to take the victory for sure. Celery is moving up the brackets, and it looks like he will be fighting Jermaine, a Swordsman user. So for the next fight, we do have Sun Levi, and he's actually already in his Ultra Instinct states. I did forget to men mention that. Uh, so he's not, uh, his transformation is actually Master Ultra Instinct. So that's actually very cool. And his presets, Soaring Combination, Soaring Fist, Savage Strike, Surging Spirits, Ultra Instinct Kamehameha, and Gali Display. And for his, his Evasive Instant Rise. And Robin over here going in with Big Bang Attack, Soaring Blast, Instant Charge, Savage Strike. Yo, literally every single character I believe has Savage Strike so far. <laughs> and his ultimate Burning Strike and Max Power Kamehameha. And his transformation is... All of the Super Saiyan forms with Ultra Instinct. Let's see which Ultra Instinct user is the best. Again, Sun Levi already started off in uh, Omen Ultra Instinct. And Robin over here does have to transform into his Ultra Instinct state. So with that being the case, I did uh, limited Sun Levi's stamina to around 60%. Just because he does have the you know, uh, UI effect for the whole match. And I don't think that's fair for the other players. So I did limit his stamina to 60%. And Robin over here, normal stamina maxed out at 100%. Uh, he does have the Ultra Instinct, but he has to transform into that. And his stamina is broken, so it looks like he might get bodied. Okay, so let me know if you guys think that's fair. Uh, Sun Levi being his Ultra Instinct state, limited his stamina to 60%. I think that's pretty fair, right? I don't know, maybe his stamina's already almost gone. <laughs> and I do believe his stamina takes a lot longer to regenerate as well. Yo, Robin! 
I need you to do some work over here, though. Oh, he transformed it. Two percent for Robin. Okay. Uh, I want that Ultra Instinct though, before we can get this Ultra Instinct fight. Yo, he's just taking L's though. Yo, Ultra Instinct Levi, too great, <laughs> too great. <laughs> okay, yeah, he Son Levi does have a whole health bar above Robin's. Uh, Robin still has the stamina. He's just not utilizing it at all. Oh! Oh, Master Ultra Instinct! Oh, his moveset changed. His moveset changed. Oh, his stamina's gone though. Oh, so this is Robin's time to come back. I knew it. I knew he had to hit him. Yo, Ultra Instinct Levi might be vanquished, to be honest. <laughs> Robin, do more supers and ultimates. You got this. You got root for the underdog over here sometimes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, Super Saiyan Blue Falcon. That's not Ultra Instinct, but he, you know it takes time to go through all the forms. <laughs> he is making this comeback though. Oh! What is that? I guess Super Saiyan Blue Falcon times 20, maybe? <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, yeah, Robin's dead. Oh, what's the throwing fist? Oof. Oof. Ultra Instinct Levi overpowering Robin. It's such a shame we couldn't see a Ultra Instinct fight. That would have been cool to watch. So for the next fight, Sora Astel Codex versus Tato. So as for Sora, Sora uh, her preset, she has Whirlwind Combination, Soaring Combination, Hanging Combo, and Wicked Pulverizer for the Super Attacks, and for the Ultimate, Enrage Crash, and Unrelenting nice. Rush and for the evasive super front jump and her transformation is Super Saiyan Rose. I can't wait to see that in action. And as for Emperor Tato, uh, Gallic Gun, Meteor Crash, Burst Rush, Pride for Charge, and uh, for the Ultimate Dragon Fist and Prominent Splash. Uh, actually, we don't even see any modded attacks on this modded character besides Pride for Charge, but you know, it's a super attack, I mean a charging ability. And for his evasive Dragon Burn and his transformation, Super Saiyan 4 God. Again, he's in his Super Saiyan 4 state. Oh, just like the other opponents. Maybe uh, Levi and uh, Emperor Tato over here would be a perfect matchup because they're both already in that transformation state, but they also have a transformation above their forms. All right, Sora, a still Codex. Don't get bodied, I'm rooting for you. You also have a modded uh, custom skill attack, so utilize that, please. Uh, I believe she's more like a, oh, there it is. Oh, that's a grab, that's Cell's grab again. Uh, I believe she has more of a, like a kicking modded movesets as well as super attacks. Come on, <laughs> Sora. Oh, okay. Yo, Emperor Tato doesn't do that much damage, it seems like, even though they do have the same uh, uh, damage melee attacks. So we'll just see how this turns out. No! <laughs> Why is Sora getting bodied? All right, wait. I want, okay, what is that? Oh, I, did she just cancel out his ultimate attack? I believe uh, she did. I want to see Super Saiyan Rose versus Super Saiyan 4 God. That would be quite interesting. Emperor Tato, why is your stamina so low? You're still in your green bar, but your stamina is super low. Oh! You got a gun to the face. Sora, use some supers. We're not seeing that much supers from you yet. Oh! Oh, no! Yeah. <laughs> you guys saw that? Oh, she, wait, what? What the nanny? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she just stood there? I don't know, CPUs be tripping sometimes, but she is transforming. Oh! Hey! How come she's not breaking her guard? She's just dancing right there. Okay, I guess she wants a fair fight. Super Saiyan Rose versus Super Saiyan 4 God. Yo! Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's kind of strange what Sora was doing, just dancing in front of uh, Emperor Tato. <laughs> Yo, I, lo I love how when they uh, computer does an ultimate, the other CPU does an ultimate as well. Okay, and I guess both their ultimates just be canceling each other out, to be honest. <laughs> Do some interesting things. Oh, oh, there it is. Now we finally get to see the moveset. Emperor Tato, you get embodied. <laughs> Live. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh, was that a counter? Oh, it's over. Emperor Tato is the victor. Yup, yup, there it is. <laughs> okay. Emperor Tato moving up the leaderboards. Now we have Jermaine versus Celery. Eh, I'm super excited for these fights just because, you know, all these opponents beat their respective uh, opponents. Now we get to see the best of the best. What you guys got between this fight? I'm looking forward to this one, actually. Both proud warriors. They both defeated the first opponents. Yo, you see Jermaine over there confident? I saw that smirk on your face over there, Jermaine. <laughs> but let's see if you can handle Celery over here. He did beat his opponents over there. Oh, yo, with the reeds. All right, so if Jermaine does win this or the tournament in general, he will be the first Swordman CAC to win. A tournament. Oh, with the Gogeta sauce! Hey, oh, already with the charge. Yo, he wants to get this charge. He's trying to utilize all his super attacks. Okay, I love to see these clashes. All right, I love these hype fights. <laughs> Yo, already! Um, oh, no! I'm not telling you. These are the fights we see. Yo, he got it down. Oh, he got him still. 
Oof, yo. Jermaine saying, nah, I don't care about your transformation. I'm about to body all y'all. <laughs> okay, oh, with the grabs. Yeah, I love that, though. He transformed, and then Jermaine used his invasive, uh, explosive wrath, or whatever it was called. But he's only his Super Saiyan form, and Jermaine's is still in his base form. Okay, you know, he, he's pretty confident. He did give off that smirk. Again, with the transformation. Super Saiyan 4 suppressed, okay. Uh, Jermaine's still in his green health. Oh, my gosh. Celery, you need to do some work. You are in your Super Saiyan 4 suppressed form. Oh! Oh, that got him! Well, he, he evaded out, though. Oh, he did! Oh, yo! Super Saiyan 4 ain't taking no for an answer. Oh! Yo! Yo! <laughs> Super Saiyan God versus Super Saiyan 4, the fight we always wanted to see. Hey, this is a pretty nice matchup. All right, Jermaine still has the lead, though, uh, health-wise. His stamina is looking kind of gone. His stamina is regenerating super fast, though. I do believe he has some, like, some sort of regeneration ability. I'm not sure. I don't know. But his stamina, looking pretty even. What are you gonna... Oh! Yo! He made him snap! All you need to do is a stamina break, or at least break his stamina, Celery. <laughs> and then you can win. I don't know why uh, it sounds like I want Celery to win. <laughs> I don't care who wins. I just want uh, to have a good fight, you know? Okay, uh, I just want uh, Celery to do more damage for a prolonged fight, you know? All right, J Jermaine, you're doing your work over there. I see you. His stamina is coming back so fast. Like, what the... What the nani's going on over here? Ah! It must be tough, something to do with his, uh... Yeah! Like an ultimate, oh, 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 right in the jaw, oh my gosh, Jermaine, yo, that was intense, what the heck was that, it was ultimates after ultimates, wow, oh gosh, that was a very close match, it was also intense, so far, my favorite match that we've seen, so for the next one, we do have Ultra Instinct Levi versus Super Saiyan 4 Tato, both in their transformations already, and again with a ascended form. Since both these characters are already transformed and they both have, you know, ascended forms on top of that, this technically should be, you know, the best fight, in my opinion. This is just a theory, a Xenoverse theory, so let's see what we got. Alright, so Emperor Tato, already with Super Saiyan God. Hey, I'm loving this matchup. I'm loving this matchup so far. Levi, go to Master Ultra Instinct. I just want to see that. Yo, I love the aura. We got red versus blue. This is nice. Hey, so for, again, uh, Sun Levi, he does have around 60% stamina, just to make it a little bit fair. Because I don't think it's fair, uh, him dodging everybody's attacks for the whole fight. So let me know if you think I did that right. I don't know, Sun Levi's still doing damage! Like, he's already catching up, he's still in his Ultra Instinct state. Well, technically, Ultra Instinct is a lot more superior than Super Saiyan 4, God, maybe. Alright, Emperor Tato, his stamina is kind of low. What you need to do is just keep on attacking, making him weave, make him drain his stamina, or just... Make him snap in general. Oh my gosh. Levi, can you chill out with the Savage Strike, please? <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, dang, you missed it. I wanted you to hit that <laughs> follow-up. <laughs> Why am I rooting for Emperor Tato? I don't know. I'm rooting for the underdog, all right? Oh, finally. <laughs> Yo, he mastered Ultra Instinct and then he did his Dragon. Oh, his stamina's gone. Okay, Emperor Tato, this is your time to do your thing. Do Dragon Fist or Prominent Slash. I think that's your second ultimate. I don't know. Hey, that's kind of cool, though. Why is it... Oh! He got him! Well, he evaded out of it, though. <laughs> Yo, I love Super Saiyan God because if you can see his health bar, it's, like, gradually increasing. I don't know if that's cheating or not. <laughs> then again, this is mods. Uh, tournament mods. Levi, get up! I need you to... Do okay, there it is. I need you to do some more damage to make this a close fight. Make this an intense fight. This is supposed to be the best one. So far, they're both at the full power form, so I do appreciate that, at least. Thomas Blast? Yo, okay, he got him a little bit. I thought he was going to break his step. Oh, no, Levi, why'd you get him to that? Come on, Levi, fix your CAC. What are you doing? <laughs> Control him. Oh, oh, that was going to do damage if that ended. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Okay, so Tato won. I just wanted a better fight, but hey, they both transformed to full power at least. Okay, okay. And Tato overpowered Levi just like that, making his way to the grand finals. Hey, not gonna lie, I did want to see my boy uh, Surly up there. I mean, Celery. I can't even say his name right. <laughs> so I wanted him to win this whole tournament, to be honest. But hey, we got Emperor Tato versus Jermaine. Who you guys got? Make sure to leave a comment down below right now. Before the final fight starts again, I just want to say thank you guys for always submitting you guys CACs when I ask for them. And... Again, if you guys want to have a chance to participate in the next modded tournament or just the next CAC tournament, make sure to follow me over on Twitter because that's where I will be announcing the next tournament. 
All right, let's see who wins. Emperor Tato Super Saiyan 4 or Jermaine with God Key. To be fair, Emperor Tato does need to let Jermaine... Oh, nice puzzle blocks! Maybe not. I was about to say maybe he needs to let him transform into God form just for the planes to be a little bit even. But hey, Jermaine doesn't even need that. Okay, his stamina is almost gone, so maybe he does need it. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Emperor Tato is not holding back. He wants his victory. He wa oh, the damage! The both still in the green health. Jermaine, I need you to transform just for it can be a little bit even. I know you don't want to. Your pride is too great, but just do it for us. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. Yo! Oh, I thought he was transforming, but that's just his energy charge. Oh, there it is! There it is! Let's go! Super Saiyan God Jermaine. What about Emperor Tato? Is he going to respect his warrior and stay in his Super Saiyan 4 form? Or will he go for God? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait to find out. <laughs> oh! The Gogeta Sauce! I thought he was gonna follow that up, uh, up with Savage Strike, but guess not. Yo, oh! He tried to do his uh, super attack. Uh, what was that? Will win combination? Oh! Oh! He canceled it into Savage Strike, but then Emperor Tato canceled it. Watch out! Oh! Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> that ended it. Oh, Super Saiyan 4 God, perfect. Perfect. Hey, both characters have full power. Emperor Tato, I need you to do some work now. At, at least tie it up a little bit. Make this a closer fight. Okay, you missed that Galaga gun. Why? <laughs> he just kicked up. Oh, watch out! Ah, oh, you fool! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look at him. He doesn't even have scratches on him. <laughs> and there you have it. Your first champion of the modded CPU CAC tournament. <laughs> Jermaine! With the power of Super Saiyan God and the moveset of a swordsman. Pretty impressive stuff. Of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Congratulations to Jermaine, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!